Hello and welcome everyone to the eBay Shopping Show Episode 4. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Brave Series figures, uh, all located on eBay, even though you can buy them a couple other places, and uh, we'll show you, like, uh, there are some uh, companies that list them on eBay as well, so we'll just kind of show you a little bit of everything. It's not really a whole bunch. Uh, sometimes they usually have about four or five pages of Brave figures. They're really slim uh, today or here recently, because I looked on there about a week ago as well, but... Um, we do have some tips and some things that you can use for searching or questions that we get asked quite often. Uh, but before we get started, James, you want to go ahead and introduce yourself and tell people where you can find us or and the shows and stuff? Yeah. I'm James Victory Saber 77 You can find me on Twitter and YouTube, and we have a couple of other shows. Um, starting off, uh, the Cybercast is on every Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on G1 Hexatron's channel. And then we have the aftercast that is at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time on my channel every Saturday. All right, and it's it's going to be kind of like a laid back. It's going to be a shorter show. Uh, we're not going to build anything here towards the end, uh, just because I had a late start uh, today, getting uh, everything set up. But. Go ahead and taking a look at the first thing. And the first kind of tip is whenever you're doing a search here, there's several things that you want to pull up. Because if you just type in Brave and, uh, you know, and Toys and Hobbies, uh, let's, let's go here, uh, just put in Brave. Then you see, like, all types of stuff shows up. I mean, you got Disney stuff. There's what, whatever this is, bows and arrows. There's some, like, naked... He-Man, or that's not He-Man. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Frozen stuff, or yeah, so all kinds of stuff other than what you're actually looking for. Uh, well, there's one. So there's a couple of searches that I use. Um, I think James uses as well, and probably a, quite a few others. But first off, Brave DX is what I use uh, because I want the deluxe figures, and DX that's what that means. There's also STD. And <laughs> it's exactly what you guys are thinking. It stands for standard. Yeah. So standard size. Uh, there's also Takara Brave. There's Sonicone Brave. Uh, just because you have Takara and Sonicone. Uh, then also, you got to look under Diaclone Brave. Even though it makes absolutely no sense. Because Diaclone was pre-Transformers and Brave was after Transformers. Uh, still... Yeah, you, know, you, you the way you have to do it is think that when they put things on eBay that they're uneducated, so that you have the best opportunity to try to find it. Also, whenever you look up you know, Brave DX and you type it in there, you can see under here related Gal Gygar, Car Brave, uh, Yusha Brave, Gold Rand, Jay Decker, and a few other things. I know Gal Gal Gar. Um, so those are some searches that uh, you know you should do. Yeah. Those are the ones I use, and yeah, I use Yusha Brave a lot because um, that's what it, it is. <laughs> um, yeah. It really you know, works out really well. And then um, if you know the exact series, like Josh was saying, you know, type that in. Like if it's Gal Gygar, you know, put that in. Or King of Braves, Gal Gygar, you know, try and do the actual title of the show. Now we're going to look at some of these things. We're going to use some of these searches. I guess the first one we'll use. Um, well, actually, we'll come back to uh, Usha Brave. The f the first one that I want to do. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Uh, buy a clone Brave. Let's go ahead and knock this sucker out because. Uh, so you so you have three of them here. Uh, you have. What is this Brave Legend of Degarn? Brave Legend Seven Changer oh, Transformers yeah. G One Japanese Great Shot Six Shot Diaclone. Now this is a, a really sweet fig. This is one that you have. Uh, yeah. Are there any tips to kind of look for whenever you're, you know, ba maybe buying this figure because this is one of the more expensive ones? Um, you want them complete. So he comes with his sword, he comes with his chest piece there. You need at least the two chest pieces because they are integrated into his other modes, kind of like Six Knight and you know, Quick Switch with his guns. 
But there is a Sonicon, there is the Japanese version, so keep that in mind. Um, and, you know, finding this guy is going to be kind of difficult. He was my holy grail. You want him to be as white as you possibly can. And, you know, there's a little bit of sticker wear on one of his, and a little bit of chrome wear, but still a nice piece. Um, and, you know, if you're looking for this guy, you know, look under, I mean, this guy has him at seven as the number. Um, also, you could put in, you know, seven as far as the word changer. He's from the Brave Legend of the Garn series, and um, you know, put the put the space in there. Put yeah. the you know seven and changer together. I mean, you're gonna have to, or put seven change. Uh, you're gonna have to like word things a lot differently. Sometimes you really run across some really good deals that way, though. If people have things bidding and they just completely misspell things. Uh, I always do that as well. As I always search for things that are like misspelt, and yeah. I've I've ran across a couple of good deals sometimes. Oh yeah, this is a little bit too much. Three hundred fifty dollars is one person watching it. Oh, um, the box is crap. I mean, there's yeah. It, it, shouldn't there be like a clear window? There should there? be a cellophane thing. Yeah, there should be a clear window. Yeah, so also, I, I'll, um, I wouldn't get this one. Yeah. Plus, you're also looking overseas, so you're paying also $45 in shipping cost on that thing, too. I mean, it's a fairly decent-sized box, but still. Brave Toys, when you start going past, let's say, the $200 mark, it's starting to become very, like, you have to either really want that figure, or it has to be something like this that was a Transformer mold and was integrated into the um, Brave series, like Red Geist here. Oh, you mean this isn't a uh, Diaclone uh, the source? Yeah, unfortunately, no, it's not. Um, the other yeah. thing about this is you, uh, he only came with the one breast former. Yeah. But he does come with Lisa's weapon, which is nice, and his tail. Um, does have some stickers. To keep that in mind, too. And But there is also, you know, you want to be aware of chromeware on the lion and on the... Uh, Red Geist and such too. It's being such an expensive figure. You but know, it's a very is, nice figure though. This is someone that I would buy from. Now as far as whenever we're talking about sellers, he's taking multiple pictures. Uh, it, you know, the star phone looks good. Uh, you even have this little plastic piece right here. Uh, you know, getting up close on a lot of things as well. All mm -hmm. over the figure. It just seems like someone that takes that much care and whenever they're taking their pictures, then they probably took the same care of the figure as well. Um, Definitely. You know, I, I see that he's still got the baggie. There's little things, especially whenever you get into some of these more expensive figures, that little things that may seem very minor, but it shows you how detailed uh, and, you know, like, I don't know what the word, nitpicky that that owner is. That way you know what kind of product you're getting. So it, it, it makes me a lot more comfortable, you know, if I was to buy from this guy. And it was a seven changer versus the one that we just looked at. Yeah. And you, you, like look at his box too. You know, it, it looks really good. And, and this is common, you know, for the age, for it to have a little bit of corner wear. Mm -hmm. There's no major bends. You know, he's got the uh, clear window glass here, so I mean, for something that came out in 1992, yeah, I mean, there's going to be some wear and tear, but it just shows what type of collector they are also. Yeah, so this is a different collector. Uh, it's the same price, uh, it, but only – let's we'll make sure. Okay, there's some more pictures down here. Okay. But only two. I mean, uh, but you can see the box as well. Mm -hmm. You know, and I bet – You know, it's not as in good condition as the other one, and not just from the box, but you know, not the multiple pictures and going more detail. Because you know, he could have opened it. I mean, yep. it <laughs> might as well. He it's, could have taken the time to, you know, kind of thoroughly give us an accurate description of the item. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you're gonna pay four hundred dollars for something, then uh, you you need a little bit more. But. Definitely, and that's the thing too. The Brave Line is a small line when you're looking at the individual series. You're not looking at, like, 
a huge, you know, series one like Transformers. You're looking at a, a small little integrated um, team, essentially. So you have to kind of keep that in mind when you're going after these guys that, you know, you're only going to have maybe four or five figures that you're going to be collecting in a certain line. Yeah, and, the, you know, the other thing with this is uh, to, to look. We looked this up under uh, Diaclone Brave. Uh, but if you put just Brave DX in there, um, or you know Sonicone Brave, or you know even this one down here, if you put Takar Brave, or let's see, does it say Takar anywhere? No. Nope. So you you would never even be able to find this one. If you put in Takar Brave, this would be the only one that could show up. And there's actually a better one down here. It's actually a little bit cheaper. So just use some different searches. And yeah. just add all the things to your watch list, and then whenever you get through, go back and search through your watch list. I know it seems like it's just little simple things, but it really needs a difference in you getting something that's better quality and maybe even at a cheaper price. Yeah, definitely. And uh, never no. just go after one item when you see the price and be like, oh, that's exactly what I'm looking for, because most likely you're going to probably come across it at a cheaper price. Now to hit up on this guy... Uh, you know, you first you look here. You know, one one day left, zero bids, uh, two watching. You know, so Sorokagi here from uh, you know to help create great gold ran. You know, one of the things that you really need to know is brave figures can they just they they combine with everybody like everybody combines. And whenever you think, okay, well, he's done combining, no, there's chances are then, like, something else gets added to be his, like, super big gun, you mm -hmm. know? So it's it's kind of crazy, but you need to know, like, okay, what series is this guy from? Um, you see up here, they actually put it in here, Gold Ran. So do a search on Gold Ran. Find out, you know, what all figures do you need to obtain? Are there any two-packs? Are there three-packs, complete sets? And what's the best method of going about buying them, and which ones are cheap and expensive? So, uh, Jay, I'll flip through some pictures if you want to kind of elaborate on that a little bit more. Yeah, um, yeah, just like what Josh was saying, the main characters combine with another character, and sometimes they'll combine with a third character, and you just kind of have to keep that in mind. Kind of know the series that you're looking at, um, and also know that there are going to be multiple packs you can get. You can get a two-pack with Goldran and Sorokagi together to form Sky Goldran, and then there's Leon Kaiser, or you can get all three of them together. And so they're going to be a little bit harder to come by, um, and they might be a little more expensive, but um, you know, keep that in mind. This is the Takara version. There's the Sonokong version of Sorokagi. There's also the Brave Revival Legends, which... Everything that's gold is chromed, which is really nice, but that is extremely hard to come by. That's but the one I want. All, yeah, that's the one everyone wants. And that comes with all three members. So, um, And then they also have a lot of accessory pieces. Like Goldren is notorious for all those red missiles um, and such like that. I mean, you're going to get so many red missiles that you don't know what to do with them. I mean, it doesn't matter if you vacuum them up or lose them because you're going to have plenty of them. But... Just keep that in mind when you're looking at getting these guys that, you know, if you want the whole entire, you know, super mode, it may take you a little bit longer um, to get. I mean, if, like, you get Sorokagi here and you you happen to find a gold ran, but maybe you find the gold ran with Sorokagi, you got to have to make that decision whether or not you want to buy that gold ran just because you need the gold ran. You don't need the Sorokagi. And such and, like that. So, and what what I did with mine is like I bought a two pack with Sorokagi and Goldran, and I think I paid one twenty shipped, which I thought was a, you know a decent price on it. Uh, the not knowing that the most expensive piece is Leon Kaiser, mm -hmm. and he's also the hard the reason why he's so expensive. He's the hardest one to try to find, and uh. I ended up getting him for 150. Now the I got the Sonicone two pack with Sorokagi and Goldran. Uh, I could not find a Sonicone version of that, but I ended up finding a Takara version 
for 150 and I ended up picking that up, and it took me eight months down the line before I was able to get it. Yeah. You know, so if you don't buy them all together, then sometimes it'll take you a while to piece it together. You know. Oh, yeah. You know, this this is a cheap price. Uh, this is actually this is a really cool figure as just a standalone. I like them a lot. If you're a fan, yeah. uh, Talon Master of My Creations Talon or you know Predacon Dive Bomb that you just like big long gold wings. Man, this guy's awesome. Yeah, he is. He is a really and he's a great character in the show. I mean, being the ninja kind of a smart aleck kind of guy, but. Um, yeah, and that's the thing too, which is really nice. The Sonokong and Brave, there's no difference as far as the molds are concerned. Um, some of them may have a little bit of color difference, depending on which line you're looking at, and sticker quality, but ex they're exactly the same as far as like for combining and all that. So you can interchange them. And that was something I was kind of worried about. And as soon as I felt them like fit together properly, I was like, yes. So, yeah. Here is uh, another one here, you know, from um, Gold Rand series, uh, Silver One. Yep. And James Silver. So here, here you think, okay, three guys. I got all the three, you know, because we were just talking about Gold Rand, and actually, Gold Rand, great to make gold, great Gold Rand. It's actually five dudes, but the uh, two little guys, um, they actually, Kaiser oh. and uh, Dran, they yeah. actually come with. Uh, yeah, the big guys. But you got three here. You're thinking, all right, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing that really um, is unfortunate. Like in the show, they just basically okay. So here's the characters. Here's the Silver Knights, and so you can form Silver on. But then later on the show, they get introduced to a fourth member, which is Fire Silver, which you see there is God Silver on. So now you're like, oh crap. So. Um, now I have to go and try and find, and usually it's extremely hard to find that fourth, you know, robot individual. Just by himself. His yeah, by himself. It's very hard. Unless he's a main character like Sorokagi, it's really hard to find. So now you're looking at, well, you're going to end up having a Silverion, and then if you want to get God Silverion, you're going to pretty much have to buy them all over again, all together. So, um, I mean, that's what I did, essentially. And I don't mind, because I like having the two together, but... I actually like the way mind. just Silveron looks by himself. Yeah. It's not too bad. But yeah, you have to keep that in mind. And again, you know, look for a Sonokong. Sonokong will usually be the cheaper way to go if you're looking at buying these. Um, but it depends on the character also, because if you get into, like, Dagwon with, like, Fire Dagwon... Now you're looking at pretty much the same price as a Takara and a Sonokong and such. And some prices, like, uh, we'll see, I think it's this one, that we see him priced here, and then he's even more, or maybe that was the, that was the, uh, the liners. Yeah. You know, th this is one of those guys that he's he's really big, and you think, like, okay, that's... Uh, and when, whenever we see DX, meaning Deluxe, that's not like your little Transformers Generations Deluxe here. <laughs> These guys are huge. Yeah. They're bigger than your all your combiners. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he even combines as well with uh, yeah, he, fiber. Yeah, he combines with the main character fiber to create great fiber. And that's the other thing too. If you want, you know, large robots, the deluxe size is the way to go. If you want a little bit more show accuracy and a little bit better articulation. And I'm not talking a ton of articulation, but a little bit more than the standard size is the route to go. Like you, you'll get basically shoulders. <laughs> shoulders, maybe an elbow joint, something like that, and it, the color will look a little bit more show accurate. But yeah, other than that, it, but it's going to be really small and probably not going to be able to transform. Uh, some of these are just you know, way too expensive individually, in my opinion, to try to piece together. Uh, like I'd rather get the, I'm fine with Mike Gain all by himself. Uh, this is the the Mike Kaiser to where he's got his trailer and like all these little bitty things. Yeah. You know I I'm not really big on this guy, or the combination or whenever they get a gunner. Either so I mean you got all these little things that combine. But 
do you recommend like if you could get Mike Gain? I think I usually see him for about eighty-five. Uh, from this, th- this is a you know toy arena. This uh, liquid deals or whatever li- deals. Yeah. Um, I would recommend if you're going into a series, you always want to have the main character. Yeah. Um, you know, you if it's Brave Express, Mike Gain, you want Mike Gain. But as of late that I've seen, those main characters are really getting harder to come by. Um, Mike yeah. Gain's starting to um, disappear more, so you're left with Mike Kaiser. Mike Gunner is one that you would think um, you should be able to find because he's the smaller out of the three, and he has electronics and such like that, but Mike Gunner actually is the more expensive out of the three if you can find him, if you can find him for the perfect mode of Great Mike Gain. So you got to keep that in mind also. And even if you're like, uh, I noticed this whenever I was looking for Gal Gygar, uh, like I, I had passed on him because I it was like him or I don't know some like G1 or masterpiece figure or something like that a while back, um, a couple years ago, and I wanted him. I saw him for like eighty bucks, mm-hmm. and. He had sat there for a while, and eventually it sold. Well, now I was ready to buy them, and I was looking everywhere for them. I couldn't find them. I want to say for maybe like nine, eight or nine months. Uh, well, I, a couple times he had shown up, but every time he was like three hundred dollars. I was like, no way, you know, that, that's way too expensive. And eventually show back up again for, you know, like $75. And so so sometimes, you know, you're going to have to wait. Like this guy right here, uh, or not that one. Um, some of them are just extremely expensive. You know, and you just, just wait be patient. Now, this is yeah. something we were talking about earlier, and you just did a review on these guys. Yeah. The, uh, the liners. And, again, it looks like you get all of them here, but you're only getting three of them. Mm-hmm. And go ahead and price it out. It's going to be a hundred and two dollars after shipping. Well, there's the one more guy to make them complete, and here they actually have all all four of them. Yeah. Because here's the guy that was missing down here, and you get really this is. for one tw- one twenty eight. So for about what is that? Or no, 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 uh, I'm sorry. Like 113 Yeah. So about $7 more. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, about, about, yeah, about 10 bucks more. You're getting the fourth member there, which, I mean, he doesn't add a whole bunch, but, you know, this is a more common and easier way to get that fourth member. And um, I would totally go this route. Because it, I mean, you want the complete package and such. Especially if you're watching the show, if you, you know, you don't want to have just like one of them. It's like getting the, you know, aerial bots. You want to just have all of them except for slingshot, so you don't have the arm. <laughs> kind of looks weird, um, and such. Well, here, here's but, the same the same thing here, and this one's Takara. They're asking two hundred and five dollars. No, 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 yeah. that's something different, isn't it? No, no, that's that's the, that's the Takara version, not the Sonicon. Yeah, and the thing is, is there's really, I mean, you can look at this and maybe point out something as far as like maybe a sticker's different color or something like that. But as far as quality wise goes, they're exactly the same. Yeah. Their and accessories, you, everything's the same. <laughs> So you get you know you don't get the the fourth figure and you haven't you're having to pay almost a hundred dollars more. Mm-hmm. It's also missing some cardboard cutouts. But yeah, I mean, this is one of those things where do you want the Sonokong or do you want the Takara? I mean, if you're on a budget, you go after Sonokong because you'll get more bang for your buck. You can stretch that dollar more. But, I mean, if you really are adamant about, I just want Takara only, that's cool, but you're also going to have a difficult time trying to find it, especially on eBay. I mean, we're not going to go into, like, you know, 
other auction sites or you know forums and stuff like that where you can probably find some of these guys a little bit cheaper and such but as far as just readily available on eBay it's a lot more difficult I mean Firebird here um, the Firebird series Brave Fighter of Sun Firebird is the oh, easiest yeah. um, series to collect because there's so many different versions of like Firebird especially you can get the Sonicon, you can get the Takara, you can get the reissue Takara, you can get the reissue Sonicon, there's a two pack with um, great uh, with Grandbird and such, so it's a really easy line to um, complete and be done with. And they're all readily readily available, like Thunder Baron, um, Dreas, one of the um, one of the other two originally made villains in the Brave series that came out in toy form. So, and this is where, uh, like, if you're wanting to get into Brave. Uh, this is what I did with Transformers, you know, it's G1. Uh, so for, you know, for about two months, every single day, I spent about, you know, three, four hours on eBay just looking at, you know, adding G1 to my watch list, seeing what they go for, uh, to make myself a little bit more knowledgeable before I went in there and just started acting a fool, like, well, he's asking $500 for it. I guess that's what it's worth. Uh, here's, here's a clear cut example right here. Uh, Death Gary. Death Gary Gun, yeah. Uh, 60 and 10, so 70 bidding at the minimum, or 90 plus t- or 100 by it now. Mm-hmm. Well, look, right, right below him. 25, 28. That's that's still expensive. Uh, you you can get this guy for like 30 bucks. Yeah. He's cheap. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing too. You need to like look at it. And, yeah, just but, because uh, he's is a that? transformer mold of Sky Gary, he's he's one of the cheapest and easiest ones to find in the Brave line. I, st- I still need to get this guy. This one. Land this Bison. one's up. Yeah, man, he's he's cool looking. We'll just take a look at him real quick. Yeah, he is one of the best. I think I I still like him more than Pegasus Saber, even though Pegasus Saber is really cool with the whole centaur look. He's just but. strange. The, this one, I'll, I'll just like the fact that you got you know the elbow articulation, and then also the legs are separated here. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's just always something with me that I like. I like legs separated. Yeah, and it, Takara did a great job engineering the Brave line as far as combiners. Um, a lot of the combined modes are already integrated into the individual modes, so like their fists are already attached, like we see with um, Lyle Kaiser, um, which is really fantastic. So you don't have all these little bits of like, you know, foot plates, arms, heads, all that type of stuff. It's all integrated in there. So really There's nice. There's usually quite a bit of chrome uh, on something. Like you look at all that nice chrome mm-hmm. here and. If, you're, if you haven't been paying attention in every single series, like James pointed out, every time it comes up, <laughs> there will be drills in every series. Oh yeah. So if if you don't if you don't like parts forming, you don't like drills, just you stay away from the brave line. Yeah. Or the whole series. Um, let's There's see. Gonna be some type saying. of train, some type of drill. They're all gonna combine. Um, so yeah. Shadow Maru. Yes, that one right there. Jesus. He's expensive, but he's the one that I don't want to say is worth the money. I don't think he's worth that five hundred dollar range, but he's going to be the one that's close to the three hundred because he's he's a really awesome character and it's a really great mold. Looks like he's missing his guns though and his swords. Uh, um, think there, there he's. Oh, there, there. Okay. Because um, I was looking at this. <laughs> But he is a great, great character. It's really hard to come by. If you guys lucked out and got the Sonokon that was, you know, I think Toy Arena had it a couple years back, and they were only selling them for like 60 to 80 bucks, which is really cheap for a six-shot retooled, molded figure, or even great shot. Yeah. What do you mean? This is the Diaclone six-shot. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's the Diaclone. I'm, you know. Man, I there want we- this. I'm not dropping $500. Yeah. And he comes with a chrome sword, which was really nice. Um, 
and even his, I mean, they retooled him so he's not an exact copy, so I like that, like the, with the head sculpt. And, you know, he turns into his animal form is actually a police dog, which is really cool, fits into the character, into the show. So that is a really nice piece. Oh, that was see. my first Brave figure, too, oh, that really? I picked up. Oh, this this is an awesome guy. I think they're asking. Uh, I've seen him go for about ten, twenty dollars cheaper than that, though. Yeah, that's not horrible, but. But again, you're now looking at Sky Saber, but you need Hawk Saber if you want to create, because everyone wants Pegasus Saber. I mean, Sky I Saber. I think he looks pretty own. awesome by his own self, but yeah, you'd want the the Pegasus Saber. It's probably the most unique transforming robot. I'm just gonna say transforming robot. Yeah. Out there. And so you have all three of these guys. And then, uh, what's the what's the hawk? Hawk saber. Okay, I almost called him Guy Hawk. I was like, that's not right. Yeah, guy Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like they have a picture of it here, but yeah, it's 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 pretty crazy looking. Uh oh, look at here. Death Gary. It's still. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a big box, so um, I guarantee you, no one will bid on this. More than likely, uh, but forty dollars. I mean, we've seen the guy at uh, almost a hundred. Yeah. Oh, here, here's what uh, you were talking about earlier. So we've actually seen separate Firebird and Grandbird for uh, like cheaper than like it almost about. I think it was like a hundred seventy for the two of them. After yeah. Buying them by themselves. These these guys they want like three hundred dollars. Yeah, they do. That's funny. They had a triple G sign up there for Gal Gygar, <laughs> even though this is not part of Gal Gygar. What is it? Oh yeah, well yeah. I think I don't know what this uh, this toy company. They always put that up there. And their stuff is always like super expensive. Yeah. Now, like eighty five dollars, man. That, that's ridiculous. He's he's not worth that. Yeah. I, I paid like thirty dollars shipped for mine. Actually, I even got Captain Shark for. I yeah, think Captain dollars. I got him for thirty dollars too. <laughs> yeah, Captain Shark is another one that's really unique. And um, since Sancho Barbosa came out, a lot of people are kind of jumping on the bandwagon of getting like Captain Shark, and that's one I would recommend picking up if you can find him cheap, because oh, he's a really great, unique figure that is well designed. I like that. This Got one's one. uh, unique too. I just love the fro, yes. <laughs> but yeah, Gone's cool. Um, got the electronics. He's got the electronics, but again, if you're gonna combine him, because he's, you know, the kind of the, just the partner character, you need to find Degarn X, and to find a Degarn X to form Great Degarn GX is gonna be really, really hard. Okay, so this is well, like we saw the uh, Mike Kaiser, you know, mm -hmm. or whatever it was, eighty-five dollars. Well, this is again, you know, from this. Hey, look, it's got a uh, But you know, Mike Gain, and uh, I think you get all of them here. You don't get Mike Gunner though. Oh, the, the, God, I was thinking that maybe you go that. That way, you guarantee that you have all three of them. You don't have to. But pff, never mind. Yeah. Now you only get great might gain. You don't get the perfect mode. Oh, that's that's crazy expensive. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's one more page here. Let's see if there's anything. God, I want this. Are you gonna let me click on it? No. Cool. Guess not. Like even check out this little thing. Uh, yeah, the maintenance base for the Henryu and the twins. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of accessory pieces too within you know the deluxe size that you can get. Um, not just the robots. I mean, like with Fiber, there's Rister, who's a little you know electronic watch. Um, and then there's some other ones, but. It all depends on what you're looking. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's oh, standard, that. though. 
yeah, this is a standard one. Um, so that's something that you, like, someone was asking me, like, even if it didn't have STD on there to let you know that it's standard, uh, it's right here. I can quit moving my mouse. Okay, uh, you can see there on the left corner that says STD. Usually the DX is down here as well, but you can also look at the figures with this. Just look at Sorokagi there. The, all that the wings are not full out chromed, and uh, you can see that it just has like stickers here for where the missiles would be instead of actual missiles. Yeah, the picture is deceiving too because the actual picture that you okay. see there is the deluxe version. The yeah. big picture, which is kind of funny. There and then, <laughs> the but look at this little dude over here. That's that's what it really is. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell that that is not the deluxe. Yeah. I mean, I will just just pay the extra money. Battle bomber there. That's extremely expensive. Eight hundred fifty dollars? I don't think so. Even though he's one of the getting to be one of the rarest, um, along with Guard Diver, and those are all from Mike Gain. And Mike Gain also had Goryu Hiryu, the Diatlas um, Sonic Bomber repaints also. So you have to consider that. But yeah, this is that's well, Mike Gain had some expensive stuff, man. Yeah. Oh, that that does look pretty sweet, though. Oh yeah, it's not eight hundred fifty dollars sweet, but it no. is sweet. Not for the Sonicong either. But it's just because it's hard to come by, and it's like the only one out there on like on eBay, and it's, such. Think that oh, I'll just charge an arm and leg for it. It's like eight hundred fifty dollars. Hmm. Well, could I go and get maybe an Overlord, or would I rather have Battle Bomber? You know, type of thing. It's like hmm. I don't know. And again, that just kind of goes back to, you know, you want it, you know about what it goes for. Look at you know previous ones sold. God, that is one horrible condition. Oh, well, they're not asking a lot for it, but uh, you know, just wait. It might take a year for it to pop up, but just just wait. Oh yeah. Uh, J uh, J Decker goes for quite a bit too. Whenever I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the masterpiece. Two masterpiece figures. Yes. So this this is one I have. Uh do they show the other one? No. Dragon Kaiser, correct? Yep. Okay. So you got X Kaiser. It's a nice figure. I like them. Uh, I think this is too expensive. Uh, you can usually... You don't even have to get them on eBay. Just just look around. Uh, you can find them on several different other sites. Uh, let's see if... Dragon Kaiser is the one that's going to cost you the most. Oh, yeah. And then they changed up the line from Masterpiece into the Brave Revival Legends where they released Mike Gain and then um, Greg Goldren. Like here, here's one for ninety nine eighty eight free shipping. Uh, I think I got mine for like eighty bucks. I've seen them as low as like seventy. But I mean, they they come with a lot. Let's see if they have any pictures. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. yeah, it's a fantastic figure. Takara did a great job. I just wish that they there was a more push to keep it going. Um, you get the die cast. You get a lot of little bits and pieces. It's transformable. I mean, this is the first masterpiece line that Takara did that you could combine two figures together, and it looks good. Here is the uh, Dragon Kaiser to make. Oh, no, no, no. This is a great X Kaiser. So this actually came in two-pack as well. Mm -hmm. That's the um, Toys R Us exclusive. God, That's man. very limited. See, see now I'm in a position to where I can't even find Dragon Kaiser, and whenever I do, he's always like 400 bucks at least. Hmm. Um, that doesn't mean that he's selling for that, because it's always the same people that put him up there for 400. 575. That's still expensive. 
even if I could turn around it, because I mean, and sell my used. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna wait for someone to try to misspell it or something. <laughs> Wonder why no one's putting a bid on this. I I want it for ten bucks. Not bad. I don't know what everybody was talking about. Like it being so expensive. I don't know what I'm looking at down there. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and cover some points. Yeah. And uh, we'll we'll close out. Oh well, we actually have live viewers. I wasn't expecting anything, so I didn't even put it on Facebook or anything. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, BVZXA3. I own the set. Uh, I own the set in a really huge box. The electronics for the line was taken out. I bought it in 2002 and have not seen it since. Uh, he's talking about uh, a gone. The one that we were—I think he's talking about the one that we were looking at that had the electronics. That you said it's better off to buy. Yeah, gone. Okay. Brave Fighter of Legend. I don't have gone. Uh, I've got, right? got a few, and there, there's some on the floor because I'm like completely redoing stuff. That's why you're not seeing any reviews this week. Uh. Just because I'm like trying to redo the whole collection room, because uh, I got my other room back. But um, so we talked about searches. Uh, we just had some bullet points to carve versus Sonicone. Really nothing. There's a there's a couple of figures, very minor things as far as uh, maybe stickers being different colors. But if if you don't care about that, then uh, it's a big deal. Um, DX versus STD. Uh, complete. Robots, 100% uh, combined mode, uh, and two packs. That was pretty much all we really had. Yeah, I mean, I mean you're, you're you're the brave expert. I mean, I, I, I mean, but I, what I what I've learned is basically from you and Action Jackman. So unless you guys, did, if you guys didn't know what you're talking about, then I've been living. <laughs> <the whole time. laughs> I mean, I've been collecting Brave for over a year now, and I mean, I over that time frame, I've been able to get every single Brave figure except for four of them. That's all I'm missing out of the entire lines. And, you know, it's just being patient. It's just being, you know, I guess sometimes being in the right place at the right time. But also know your budget. I mean, these toys are not as cheap as they used to be. I mean, a lot of people a couple years back, um, you could get these off of, like, BBTS and a lot of other sites – because they were liquidating them. They wanted to get them out of here. The Sonokongs. Now, the Sonokong versions are now getting harder, and that, that well is drying up really fast, so you're not going to be able to find these things as much anymore. And you just have to keep that in mind, and they're starting to get up there, not equivalent to Transformers, but depending on the characters you're looking for, can be. But what's really nice about them is they are large robots, so you've got to have the space for them. And they also combine with other robots that are almost as equal size as the you know main character in, to form a huge robot, like Fire Dag One or Super Fire Dag One. Yeah, what what do we say? Like basically, you could put God Super or Great in front of whatever their name yeah. is, and that's basically what it is. That's it's, what it is. So it's, it's an ultimate robot, talking like Scorponok size and stuff like that. I mean, just some some big stuff. Whatever yeah. they're all combined. Not not all of them, you know. Yeah. And, but don't expect, like, you know, it's still got that G1 feel. I mean, it's still kind of, most of them are bricks. <laughs> so, also, but if you love combiners and you love that kind of Gundam, you know, what if Gundam and, you know, Transformers had a child, that's brave for you. I mean, that's essentially it right there. And, you know, the and the cartoons are good, too, if you can find them on, you know, line somewhere. Um, to really cement the characters and stuff. So, you know, you know, um, you bringing up that they're starting to get more expensive, and we kind of saw today as well, kind of struggling to find, you know, quite a few of them. A year ago and two years ago, uh, um, whenever I was started searching for them, or yeah, maybe even back three years ago, but um, there was always like five or six pages of them, you know. 
of just doing those searches to where now it was like one complete and then it was like and four other figures you know on the second page um, part of that is people are starting to buy them up or maybe you bought them up maybe that's why they're not there anymore uh, but you know there, there's a lot of collectors in our fandom and that have been doing it for a long time and you see this a lot with G1 the prices you know kind of going up a little bit here uh, Ever since they it got popular again with the Bay former movies, uh, to where people were going out like, "Well, let me go recapture my childhood," you know, um, to where now you know the the prices start going up. I think that the collectors, a lot of them, that they're starting to get their G1 collection kind of complete, and now they're kind of looking at, okay, wh what else is out there? Some of them they they've already gone with the die clone route, and maybe. They were like, well, instead of going that route, because it's hard, harder to find things in like really good condition. What what came after Transformers? That is kind of G one, and they're like, okay, so Brave, you know, yeah. let me check that out. And so now that more people are buying them, they're coming more and more scarce. Um, so I, I think that that's kind of the thing. It's the same thing with like ten years ago, dude. You couldn't give a Transformers action master away. Now they're actually kind of expensive, you know. For oh, yeah. uh, yeah. that, that's just because like these collectors, they've already rounded out, you know, all their Optimus Primes and their Jet Fires and uh, their Headmasters, and you know they've gone through all the series, got the, got their Japanese stuff, and now they're like, okay, let me get these, you know, Microbots, and let me get these Action Masters, and then now that they're getting into the stuff that they really didn't care about, they kind of put it way on the back burner. Everybody's doing that because they all <laughs> went the same way, you know, got what they wanted, and now they're like, oh, well, to complete it, let me get these things, and they're having to pay more for those now. Mm -hmm. So I think that's kind of what's happened to Brave with, uh, you know, it being a little bit more scarce now and also prices going up a little bit more than what we saw just even a year ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think people are appreciating them more, and... Like actually liking the aesthetics of the, I mean, Gal Gygar hit fans pretty hard when it came out here in the states, which was really cool. And then it kind of made people backtrack and be like, oh, there's other series within this Brave line and such. But oh yeah, I mean, you could get, you could go through G1, you could get G2, and then all of a sudden it's like, do I go into Beast Wars, or let me try and find something else that maybe I may want some more G1 brick tiles type style, you know, robots, and so you go into Brave and stuff like that. But one last thing, um, it's out of print, but it's um, it's a good source material is the this book right here. Action Jackman's done a review of it, and if you can find that book, The Legend of Great Bravers, it's a good source. Um, tells you everything that you need to know. It's in Japanese, but um, if you don't read Japanese, you can look at the pictures. It gives you pictures of every single character. Even the Eldorant series with Raijin O and Gamberger and all those guys too. So, I mean, if it wasn't in Japanese, then I'd be a little, little suspect. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a knockoff. <laughs> They're actually doing knockoff. This is probably oh, written by Josh and James. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's in English. So. All right. Well, we'll end it there. Any ideas for what you want to do for the next, the next? Uh, eBay show. I haven't really thought of it. I mean, we got two weeks to think it up. Yeah. I think we should uh, build a base. Ooh. Crypticon. Oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. We're gonna. We're not gonna find uh, what's his little full tilt gun. That's what I'm missing. I need. I need his little gun. We could do jet fire. That has a lot of stuff, and there's like the Macross versions. There's all those different types of jet fires out there too. Well, let us let, let us know in the comments a after it goes into video form. Don't let us know right now because there's some I don't know something weird with YouTube. Like when I do these live shows, you guys comment, and it says that I have comments when it goes in video form, but then I can't read them, and you, it doesn't show up in video form. So when it goes video form, let us know what we should do for some of the future eBay shows. We'll kind of pick you know, what we think will be the most entertaining for you guys, and uh, we'll get to it. So thanks for watching, guys. Jamie, you want to go ahead and sign us out? Yeah. 
Um, I'm Victory Saber 77. Find me on Twitter and YouTube. And check out our Saturday shows, starting off with the Cybercast every Saturday, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on G1 Hexatron's channel. And then the Aftercast, which airs at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time every Saturday on my channel. And we do this every other Thursday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, for me, you can find me, G1 Hextron, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and my Facebook page, the G1 Hextron. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Talk to you guys later. Peace. See you.